this is a situation right here. Anyways, guys, I just want to pop in and say hello. Um, and just kind of introduce you to this reading vlog. But I wanted to let you know that um, a few clips in this reading vlog will be taken like this way. Um, instead of this way. Because I'm holding my cat. And holding something else probably. So, well obviously, oh I just touched my face, fuck. Um, so I'm holding my cat so it's really hard to hold her and then hold the camera like this. So I do apologize. Um, but the whole vlog isn't filmed like that. Just a little FYI, but I will be looking like this pretty much the whole vlog. What are you gonna do? Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. So I have been totally MIA for a while. I am so sorry about that. Life is life, you know. But I got a new addition to the family. Say hi to Princess Peach. Say hi, Princess. Say hi. So Princess is a rescue. We rescued her about a month ago. Um, she loves to snuggle. She's been sitting with her mommy like this for about 20 minutes now. How about you, princess? <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to start doing a little reading vlog. Um, so I know I've talked about, vaguely about my health issues in past videos before, but, um, <laughs> oh, sorry, I just can't get over princess. She's so funny. Anyways, I know I've talked vaguely about health issues in past videos before. So I do have a heart lung condition and I am a transplant recipient. I'm a liver transplant recipient, so I am a hot mess. Totally. Um, so I am on pretty much indefinite quarantine until all this stuff passes. Oh, she's tired of her mommy. Bye, princess. So, I'm on pretty much indefinite quarantine until all this passes. So, it's going to be a long time. So, months probably. Anyways. Um, so, doing some reading and just trying to get caught up with things around the house. Try to keep myself busy um, as much as I can in my little house. But, anyways, you know, got to stay positive. And, yeah. So right now, I just started this book. It's called The Deep by Amakatsu. And this is basically like a um, historical fiction type, like paranormal, Titanic, and Britannic sinking um, retelling. And I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm also reading... Shit, what did I do with it? Fuck, I think I left my other book in the bedroom because I was... Oh, no. Oh, that's Harry Potter. Um, I'm also reading Crown of Feathers, and I'm really liking that as well. And I'm also reading Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead. So that is the fourth book, I think, in the Vampire Academy series, which I'm really liking. I think I left it in the bedroom with my husband who's sleeping. Because Princess over here decided to chew it earlier. Which is a library book, of course, by the way. To the edge of it earlier because she was mad we couldn't play with her feather toy. Weren't you, princess? So princess is definitely a freaking princess. She's way too much. I can't even. But yeah, so I'm going to be just chilling around the house for at least 14 days. If not until freaking August. Good times. But I hope everyone is safe and happy and healthy, and I will definitely check back in later. Look at them whiskeys! Look at them whiskeys! This is literally what she likes to do. She's been, been meowing if I don't hold her like this. I'm not even holding her really, she's chilling. Aren't you peachy peach? So. <laughs> Hi, friends. So, um, it is. Oh my god, I think it's Thursday. I have no idea what the date is. Uh, it's kind of late, so I'm just actually like literally sitting on the arm of my couch. <laughs> peach was 
meowing demanded to be picked up. Weren't you, princess? Anyways, I was really tired today. I took a little bit too much melatonin last night, and it just kind of made me feel like I had a hangover. But, um, so I've been reading the D. So I'm only like 50 pages into it, though. It's just been really hard to shut my mind off from everything. So, social distancing is like something that's fine with me, really. Because I really don't have a lot of friends, to be honest. I never really have, and I don't know. That's just how I am, I guess. Um, my thing is working. Like, so I'm off work, and definitely, not just for the 15 days or whatever, but until this totally passes. Peach, we gotta move here in a minute. This is just too much for me. Um, so I'm off work indefinitely until all this passes. I have never not had a job since I was 16. I'm 31 now, and it's just so hard for me to, like... <sighs> feel like I'm just not contributing. So just trying to stay busy around the house. I'm really trying to clean. I am getting paid right now my full pay. Um, that might change. I don't know. It might go to like half or whatever, which is fine. I mean, we can financially survive thanks to my husband who's really good at saving, but I don't know. I just feel so weird not going to work every day. <laughs> I don't know. So that's what I'm struggling with now. So I read about 20, 25 pages in um, The Deep so far, and I love it. Okay, my arm is killing me, Peach. I can't. So I really, really like it so far. Um, It's really, really good. That's all I can say. I mean, I can't really give too much of a synopsis because... Like I said, I am only like 50 pages in. My arm hurts so bad because I probably never scrubbed shit so much in my life as I have like the past two days. So I'm really trying to, I'm by no means a Martha Stewart, never have been. <laughs> but I don't have like a messy house either. But I've just really been trying to scrub, 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 scrub. And not necessarily because of the coronavirus, but um, just because, Peach, what are you doing? Oh, she's eating her treats. But just because to keep myself busy. So anyways, I will check back in. I hope everyone is safe and healthy and happy and social distancing. And just remember that we're all in this together. That's all we can remember. Hi guys, so I'm just checking back in. Um, it's been a few days since I've vlogged. Obviously with um, everything going on, there's not a, a lot going on, if that makes sense any sense so I don't have a lot going on I guess so nothing really exciting to vlog about can't really go anywhere do anything anything like that um the state I'm in is in total lockdown pretty much um and I'm quarantined anyways but just want to pop in and say I did finish Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead I believe this is book yeah book four in the Vampire Academy series I really enjoyed it I will say at first it does Feel like kind of a filler novel but the story progresses more as you read about little um little before the halfway mark i would say um don't really want to say anything about this because this is a fourth book in the series i know many people have read it but still anything would be spoilery um next i think i'm going to pick up either um the deep or pick up crown of feathers again and uh, my husband's sleeping, so he's in the bedroom where all my bookcases are, but I think I might start the run of glass after he wakes up. I can get in there, uh, but I will check back in later. Hi, guys. So I thought I would update you a little bit. <clears throat> it's pretty late at night, so I swear I changed my outfit and I shower, but I just, <laughs> I've been such a bum since I've been at home, so... I decided to pick up Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. So one of the things with um, the social distancing and being quarantined is I'm really trying to use this time to read books on my shelf like that I already have and not buy new books. It's so damn hard. All I want to do is go to BarnesandNoble.com and like buy everything. 
but <laughs> I'm trying to be good. I've had this on my TBR for like two years and on my shelf for like two years. And I know I'm like totally probably the last person in the booktube world to read this, but I just, I don't know. That's kind of a goal I have. So I'm hoping, I'm really hoping just in, in general, this quarantine doesn't last too long, but I don't have the highest hopes for that. So yeah, I am on about page, I think I'm on page 76. And I'm really enjoying it so far. So I'm really excited to get further into it. I still am working on the deep a little bit, really enjoying that as well. So I'm getting some good reads in. So that's exciting. I know this has probably been like the most boring vlog I've ever done, but I mean, that's the world we're living in right now, folks. So I hope everyone is staying healthy and social distancing and staying safe and all that. I've just been really reading and hanging out with Peach. She's sleeping right now. Hi guys. So I finally finished up The Grown Up Glass tonight by Sarah J. Mass, obviously. And I have to say that I was really um, putting it off because I didn't think I was going to like it. I didn't think I was going to like the assassin aspect of it. But let me tell you what. Oh my god. Like, I just can't even like it's it was so good i don't have any words it was just so 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 good i like want the next book right now i loved it um <clears throat> i thought the world building was really great i thought the characters were really great i thought the story was really great it just kept me on my toes so definitely a five out of five star read for me and then now i'm working on Crown of Feathers by Nikki Paul Pareto. So I do like this. I'm on page like 115 or so. I've been working on it for a while, I will say. Oh, I'm enjoying it. It follows um, several different perspectives. And I don't know. I don't really like those aren't my favorite kind of books. Maybe I'm just too dumb to read them. But I always seem like, I don't know, like it's hard for me to focus, I guess. I am enjoying it. I really do want to pick up um, Clockwork Angel because I'd really like to just start more into the Mortal Instruments series. Well, that's the Infernal Devices, but the Shadowhunters um, books. And yeah, so I don't know. I really want to try to finish this, but like... I would definitely rather be reading a Shadowhunters book right now, if you know what I mean. Um, anyways, so yeah, I'm working on that, and I've still been working on the deep. It's over there. I just don't feel like getting it right now, because I'm lazy. My eyes are all red. I look like I'm high, but I swear I'm not. <sighs> anyways. Yeah, so that's kind of my plans, I guess. Um, shit, what was I going to say? Well, I guess I'll pop back on here when I think of it. So I remember what I was going to say. <clears throat> Actually, I remember what I was going to say right after I uh, signed off. But then I was just too lazy to film again. Which was not even filming. It was just me talking to my phone camera. Anyways, what I was going to say is I've been watching um, Shadowhunters on Hulu, which I know it's, like, kind of cheesy and, like, all that good stuff, but fuck it, right? I mean, wh why not? I love Freeform because I just love cheesy shit, I guess. Anyways, so I've been watching that, and I think I'm trying to get on to Hulu now. Um... I think I'm only on episode, like, four of season one. Um, but I have read the first three books in the Shadowhunters series. So I was kind of wondering if anyone else has watched it and, like, at least made it through it. Because, you know, like, it was... Ooh, that looks juicy. Anyways. Um, because I know it didn't get 
the best like ratings it wasn't very well received so let me see okay yeah so i'm on episode four so like i said i read the first three books i was wondering like how far i need to get before it comes spoilery becomes spoilery for like the next three books if it even gets there i don't know i think maybe it was canceled i'm not sure let me I don't even know how many seasons there are. Let me see. Anyways, I'm waiting for this shit to load. Um, what the fuck? Why isn't it doing what I want it to do? I have no idea what I'm doing. And why am I whispering? I don't even know. Um, so I was thinking about. So I finished throwing a glass. And I'm working on Crown of Feathers, and I like it, but I think I really want to read Clockwork Angel, I think is the first one in the Infernal Devices series. So I was thinking, what I really want to do is I really want to order Assassin's Blade, but <laughs> I'm trying to be good and I'm trying not to buy books during this whole thing because I don't normally shop online. I do Barnes and Noble's membership, so like it wouldn't cost me anything, but like I'm trying to be a good girl. Why is this just not being my friend right now? I mean, nothing's my friend right now, but it's okay. I'm just trying to find out how many fucking seasons there are. I think there's only like three. I'm so confused. Anyways, if you've watched it and you know, let me know down in the comments if it's spoilery past the first three books or not. I think it was canceled, but I'm not sure. Um, so what I really want to do is order that book, but I'm trying to be good. But I'm like, I keep dropping little hints to my husband that he is probably getting, but just ignoring, but I'll just pretend that he's not getting it. But I mean, I'm trying to be better at my goals, so I'm being a good girl. There's no reason for me to freaking buy new books when I have a bunch in there that I haven't read. Like, right now is the perfect opportunity for me to read my books that I haven't read. But, yeah. So I'm working on Crown of Feathers, but I really want to read Clockwork Angel. But then I was thinking that maybe I could do the Owl's Readathon. Since Maya's going to be home another 30 days at least. I mean, I'm a really slow reader, which is why I don't usually do readathons. But, like, I'll have a limited time. And maybe that will, like, keep me motivated. I don't know. So I'm going to watch a YouTube video on the Elle's Readathon. And then I will let you guys know. And then if I decide to do it, I guess I'll scramble and get a... A TBR ready for tomorrow because yeah which should be going up so late compared to everyone else's but I mean I'm fucking late at everything in life like I'm probably gonna be late to my own funeral to be honest that's just how I am I like literally like I'm the HR girl at work and I get written up all the time because I'm always fucking late to everything, but you guys don't need to know that or care. But anyways, I'm going to watch this video, and then I guess I'll see um, what I decide to do. Okay, can I just say that I'm four minutes into um, the channel Book Roast, which I've never watched her before. She seems like a really good booktuber. Um, I'm watching her Owl's Readathon video and oh my god excuse me I'm such a lady her pamphlet that she makes holy shit it's so detailed it's so beautiful so much care and effort and thought went into that and I'm just like shook to the core I can never be that creative if I ever tried I mean just no okay so I think I decided that I'm actually gonna do the readathon so I watched the video so cool. I know I talked about that. <laughs> I think I'm going to make this video like a... Hi, princess. She's staring at me. So I think I'm going to make this video a uh, reading vlog slash Al's TBR to make it look like I knew what I was doing, but clearly I just decided at like 1130.
So I chose Cochineer for my thing. Sorry, I've had a couple of glasses of wine. Chad, I'm sorry if you're watching this. I told him I wasn't going to drink any wine and I failed. But anyways, Chad's my health coach. And my cousin. I don't know which is more important to be honest. Obviously, cousin, I'm kidding. But my ass needs a health coach. Anyways, I chose Potioneer. So I always thought it would be so cool to like brew potions and stuff. Of course, I would be like Neville and I would suck at it. I look like I've been doing the wacky weed and not drinking wine, but I swear I've only had wine. Um, so my prompts are arithmetic. So read a book outside of your favorite genre. Care of magical creatures. Creature with a beak on the cover. Oh my god. This crown of feathers. It does it cheat is it count as cheating if I've already read 110 pages? Probably. But do I care? No, ma'am. I do not. Um charms. So a white cover. Herbology title that starts with an M. Ooh. We got no library. I'm trying not to order books right now. Like, fuck me. I guess if I don't have one, I'll look through my mom's Audible account, see if she has anything. And then potions. A book under 150 pages. I'm feeling good. I feel like I can tackle this. Let's go over to my show and see what I got. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was just talking for like two minutes and I wasn't even recording. So, my first... Um, prompt is arithmetic. So, read a book outside of your favorite genre. So, my favorite genre is definitely, oh my god, I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> it's definitely fantasy. So, I think I'm going to read The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis. So, this is a contemporary. I really, really loved um, Heroin by Minnie McGinnis. It was definitely my favorite book of last year. So, yeah. I've heard really good things about that one, too. Alright, so the next is Care of Magical Creatures. So that's a book of a... It has an animal with a beak on the cover. So I'm going to use Crown of Feathers for that. I'm probably cheating. I guess... I'll pull out Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Fuck that. <laughs> that version doesn't have a beak on the cover, but this one does. If I get extra time, I'll read this too, because I mean, it's Harry Potter and I can fly through that. But for right now, I'm cheating and going with Crown of Feathers. I'm like 150 pages into it. Not even, like 115 pages into it. I think it's like three or 400 pages, so it's not that bad, but still, cheating's bad. Um, the next prompt is Charms. So, a book with a white cover. So, I'm going to go with Winterwood. I got this in the Owl Crate a couple months ago, I think. So pretty. Look at those blue sprayed edges. It doesn't look too chunky. I am a slow ass reader, too. Um, Herbology. Title that starts with M. Fuck me. Why well, should be one of these chunky ass political books I have? Um, Martha Washington, An American Life. Sure, why not? <laughs> I think I started reading this a while ago, but I could reread it like. Let's see, how far am I into it? 98 pages, fuck it. Martha Washington, there we go. Okay, um. And then, a book under 50 pages. So I saw that Angela from Blonde Books used the Chi Dragon Society for this. I know I have that book too. Where the hell is it? I got like a little copy of it. 
Well, that's not it. That's chain of gold. Well, not really chain of gold, but... Nope. Oh, my God. I know I got it in an owl crate. Where the fuck is it? Oh, here it is. The Tea Dragon Society. I've heard it's so cute. It looks so cute. It's like 60 pages. Hell yeah. Let's go with this. Alright, so that's my TBR. So. Oh. Uh, Ooh, too bad the M1 isn't in. I love to read New Moon again because I love Twilight. I don't even care. I don't think I have another one that starts with an M, to be honest. Fuck. Oh, I have Magician's Apprentice. Over 400 pages. Fuck that. Well, you know what? I guess I'll grab it just in case. Because I did start reading that, but it was like, holy shit, like, <laughs> like 10 years ago, I think. <laughs> so I ended up picking out all of my um, <clears throat> books for the readathon last night. So I'm going to do that. I'll just go over them in this vlog. I'm not going to make a separate video for it just because, I mean, it's April 1st. So I did quit reading Crown of Feathers last night. So, and I picked it up today so that I wasn't getting any more ahead. Um, but I will just go over the books right now really quick with you. Okay, so first I have the Tea Dragon Society. So this is going to be... The book for the prompt potions. So read a book under 150 pages. And then for Care of Magical Creatures, I'm going to finish reading Crown of Feathers because the prompt for that is read a book with a um, animal that has a beak on the cover. So I was at page, I think, 115 when I decided to stop reading it. I read a little bit more this morning, not much, so I'm at 125 now. But it's almost a hot 500 page of book, so I think it's still fine. Maybe it's cheating, but whatever. Um, Arithmacy, so read a book outside your favorite genre. So I'm going to read Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis. Um, I read Heroin by Mindy McGinnis last year, and I loved it. So my favorite genre is definitely fantasy. So this is, like, contemporary. So I picked that. And then Charms. So read a book with a white cover. So I have Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw. So I got this in the Alcrate um, box a couple months ago. And their exclusive edition had the white cover. So I'm going to go with that for that one. And then Herbology, so read a book with M in the title. And they said, like, if the title starts with the or A, like, that doesn't count. It has to start with M. So I'm going to read Martha Washington, An American Life by Patricia Brady. So I did start this. I started it, like, two years ago. So almost two years ago. So I'm just going to reread it because... Yeah, I haven't picked it up in two years. But that is my TBR for the readathon, and I'm actually going to go ahead and close out this vlog. Anyways, I just want to close out this vlog. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you stuck through <laughs> this vlog with me, um, definitely let me know down in the comments if you're going to do the readathon, or what books you're reading, or... Um, just anything. Get some conversation going. Um, anyways, thank you again so much for watching this vlog. 
Um, and I hope you're staying happy, safe, and healthy. Bye.